everyone and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble with your readings for January the 28th through February the 3rd. I'll probably touch on the 4th because there's a new moon so I don't want to um, lose that in, you know I don't want I don't want you to miss out on that so I kind of wanted to throw that in. On Monday there's a new moon. Um, now Thank you for all the feedback and all the comments. It was really great. The general consensus is to keep the horoscopes at the beginning of the video um, of the tarot reading before the tarot reading. Now, I meditated on this and I thought the best way to do this is to give you a horoscope without mentioning too many planets or aspects because, you know, technical information sometimes can be boring to some people that don't know anything about it. So I've decided to give you a horoscope and, you know, uh, what is likely to happen and where it will affect, what will affect be affected um, this week by the uh, celestial... Uh, aspects in the sky. So um, if you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I really hope you like these videos and um, that you find something that resonates with you. These are general readings, guys. Um, so take what resonates with you and leave the rest. And sometimes you'll find that whatever has come out will resonate at the end of the week. Uh, that happens quite a lot. I get feedback on that. Um, these are general readings. So if you would like a personal reading, guys, click on this information, uh, this link right here, and that will take you to my website and you can see the kind of um, uh, readings that I offer. I do have a special offer for 2019 for the year ahead. Um, it's really inexpensive, so check on that. Um, another way to support me is on Patreon. I put posts on there that I don't put post anywhere else and behind the scenes and that and for patrons only and there's tiers of rewards. So and sometimes I just offer a free reading there just, you know, out of nowhere. I just say, hmm, the first person to respond to this will get a free reading. So check out my Patreon page. And if you, that link is right here. Um, you can support me for as little as a dollar a month and it would really help me. So I would very much appreciate that. Um, so without further ado, oh, and if you've been here before, welcome back. Mwah, I love you guys. You are the best. You keep me going. Thank you. Thank you for all your support, love and um, sentiments. I really appreciate you. So without further ado, let's go to your reading, shall we? Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your reading for January the 28th through uh, February the 3rd. I'm actually going to touch on the 4th because of the new moon in Aquarius. So I want you to be able to write your intentions down for the new moon, right? All your dreams and wishes. Okay, so, oh, I might mention a specific day and that's because the, um, th it's, the aspect is exact on that day, but it applies to, you know, leading up to the day and uh, going away from the day because it's moving towards it and then afterwards it's moving away from it. So it applies for before and after the day. It's just kind of more intense and focused on the day. So without further ado, also next week, the highest viewed video will get a treat. Check in. Um, anyway, so Tuesday. Um, long distance travel really feel it seems appealing to you on that day. You may be strategizing on how to pull it off. You may consider a spiritual retreat or study in a foreign country. And, and this is really, uh, you know, you're really attracted to it. So you try, you may come up with, listen, you just may come up with some ideas on how to pull it off. Um, so Thursday, you have the opportunity to expand your horizons at work or your business. You have the vision um, with the help of Neptune and Saturn will give you the structure and the organization to take action and accomplish uh, what you want to do business wise. Um, now, on Friday... Your sharp mind could get you impatient with others. You could be kind of, you know, if they tell you something and you disagree, it's it's almost like people irritate you because you, you have this knowledge and your mind is really sharp and you know. And when somebody um, 
who doesn't quite know what they're doing and gives you suggestions. You just, it's, you're going to want to kind of, um, you might, you may impulsively go ahead with unsanctioned, with an unsanctioned plan at work because you know it's going to work, right? Um, or you may say, say something that you, uh, that you may regret. So look, please resist the urge. Play out the consequences in your mind before you go forward. It's very important to do that. We've all got this kind of impulsive, kind of frustrating energy hitting us this week on Friday. So, and a little, you know, it could happen all week, but be aware of that. Now, Saturday... Um, if you're a member of a group or an association, you could suddenly meet, hey, you could meet someone that you're interested in, a paramour or kind of make a friend, somebody that, you you know, when you meet someone and the, you, you're, they're like your soulmate friend, you know, <laughs> you've got that kind of, you've got that kind of energy going on. And, and it's kind of, you know, like serendipity meetings. Um, okay, so... What else? Um, Sunday, um, you may be drawn to spiritual pursuits, you know, or <clears throat> it's almost like you'll be philosophical about it, perhaps. So um, you could have a, you know, you could gain a relationship with God or you may already have a relationship with your faith and that will have the lightliness of um, intensifying on Sunday. Or you could question the existence of God and um, perhaps philosophize with a friend or a partner on theology. I mean, deep and um, deep conversations, that's what I'll say, are likely on that day. Now, your mind is sharp and open. So, you know, when, when you're really, when your mind is operating, um, on a higher vibration you are when you're when you're thinking of term when you're thinking in terms of intellect your mind becomes open to all kind of possibilities you're you're not fixed you're more uh mutable and you can see other people's uh points of view or you're interested in hearing it um so anyway on the same day uh venus moves into capricorn and your focus could be on raising money for a project or making connections with influential people while searching for investors. So it's it's kind of, you might have a dream of doing something, um, studying something, and you might want to raise money to do that. Um, oh, okay, there you go. Now, um, where are we? Oh, the new moon in Aquarius on Monday. It's a good time to plan for a long distance trip to go on a spiritual retreat or pilgrimage or visit a remote location for research. Um, I think that this is likely on your mind and, um, and, and it could, it definitely could manifest. Um, so let's go to your cards with, these are the clarifying cards for Gemini. Oh, darling, too many cards came out. We want to clarify this. There's one. Ah, oh. and we want to clarify this. This is it. And we want to clarify this. Oh, there you go. Oh yes, you have, darling. You have a lot of air in uh, in your chart. Um, because there's, you know, it's, it's all about the higher thinking, um, an intellect for you, uh, Gemini this week. So the first thing you've got is the queen of swords. This is you kind of impulsively reacting, perhaps saying something that you might regret or, or delivering something because when you are operating, in a higher intellect, um, you kind of 
are frustrated at people's ignorance. So this is kind of can be condescend. You could be, you could have the tendency to be condescending. You don't want to do that. Um, she's really really intelligent. She tells the truth. So you might be saying the truth to someone, but not thinking about their feelings or compassion. And you know what? Sometimes people say, "Oh, they need to hear the truth." But when it's delivered in this way, no one hears it. They just get hurt. Because it's a cutting way. It's swords, right? The Queen of Swords. It's just, it cuts into them so they can't hear it. Um, look, and if you do act out in this way, you've got the three of airs. This is a pain. And this is emotional and, um, well, you know, it's like intellectual pain. It's a pain that you go over and over in your mind. So you feel it in your body, but you're intellectualizing the pain. Um well, okay, I'm getting something else now because if you're the queen, th this could be somebody coming in and telling you the truth. Somebody could say something to you and you don't like it and it could kick up a very old pain because this, the three of swords, you know, in the traditional tarot, it's the heart with the three swords through it. This is an old, I always say this is what Eckhart Tolle always says, it's the pain body. We recreate the pain body all the time. So, you know, somebody may say something or react in a certain way that takes us back to that, you know, that little hurt um, in a child, like deep, old pain. Um, it's kind of time to let that go. It is. It's time to let that go. And look, you've got the nine of ones. You feel, you feel like giving up on something. This is about you want to give up on something. This is someone that has defended their, their reputation, their honor. They've been fighting. Um, perhaps at work, you may have been like fighting to be heard at work. And um, you're exhausted, right? You just want to give up. You want to walk out, perhaps. You want to quit, um, but when the nine of wands comes in, it's saying, don't quit. Look, retreat, you know, heal your wounds and then come back in with renewed energy and vigor. Um, I'm really getting that this is like retreating from this pain. I feel that you've got to kind of deal with this pain and release it once and for all. I mean, we never really release it, but we don't, once we address it and this kind of pain can go away, but we have to take it in, we have to feel it, we have to cry it out and we have to release it. And it, you know, it might come back, but it's not as intense as when we, it, the pain this causes is the, it's the avoidance of the pain that causes all the pain, ironically. <laughs> Um, so it's something to consider because when you do, when you retreat and you come back from this and you start at life all over again, you've got the nine of water. This is wishes and dreams come true. This is this is potentially all your dreams and wishes coming true. It's like on the verge of it. Right. So you've got two nines. It's all, you're almost at the home. You're almost at, you're in the home run. You're almost in the goal. I don't know anything about that sports, but I've just heard the home run, so I don't know. <laughs> you're almost at the finish line. <laughs> there you go. You're almost at the finish line, darling. Um, so you want to keep going, but you do want to take care of yourself. Now, wow. The next card you have is the Seven of Wands. The seven of Wands is saying, look, you know, here you're sick of standing up for yourself, so you're a bit tired. This is saying, stand up for your values. Look, this can be, this is standing up for your values. So we, we want to compromise in some situations, but we don't want to compromise our values. And listen, this could be somebody being uh, victimized on the, on the subway or the bus and somebody saying something. I saw something on 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 uh on youtube the other day and it was a woman who um somebody was shouting at this woman saying she was a muslim and she needs to get out of the country and all this and um and this woman just came another woman came out and said don't talk to her like that we are in all in this together 
do not disrespect her. And it was just beautiful. I've done that several times in my life. You know, some t- it could have gone either way, but it, it, it turned out okay. It's important to stand up. Don't allow someone else to bully someone. You know, of course, don't put yourself in danger if they've got a, you know, a weapon or something. But I mean, it can be that is what I'm saying. I digress. <laughs> but it could be you defending your honor. Now, you see all this It's like, don't be, don't go with the crowd. Don't be influenced, you know, with peer pressure. It's like, go out there and stand up for your own values. And look, it's coming from a higher perspective. So do it in a very non-violent, non-confrontational way. Um, well, confront without being confrontational. That's what I mean. It's like you need to address it. You need to confront it and you need to be calm. You need to be the calm within the storm because people don't hear hysteria or anger or shouting. They hear a calm voice. You can turn things around with a calm voice. Now, clarifying the seven of wands, you've got two. You've got this one, the five of air. This is about, look, this is about winning the battle, right? And humiliating the other person. That's not what you want to do. This is asking you to handle this uh, issue, this dilemma, this uh, conflict, whatever it is, with diplomacy and, you know, spirituality and kindness and compassion. And this is about winning the battle and humiliating the other person. It's like saying, yeah, well, you know, and it's like somebody who's already lost. It's like dogging them after. So this is not the way. To, a, to do this, to handle this. You want to avoid doing that. You want to avoid um, making yourself look better and, and uh, being condescending to someone. So you don't want to be condescending. And right next to it, you've got the, the seven of air. And, and when I did that, I got be truthful with yourself, be true to yourself, be true to your values. And I'm really getting that strongly. Thank you. This is being true to your values, really standing up for your own values, um, not going with the crowd um, and seeing the truth in the situation. Um, so Gemini, um, it's not an easy week, but it is if you make the better choices because you will so come out on top uh, when you handle these, um, you know, these battles. It, this is like you're, you're tired of it, right? And you want to give up, but don't give up because there's rich rewards. There are rich rewards. I think that's why you kind of want to go on this spiritual retreat. And, you know, yes, do so. But be careful not to appear, you know, when you when you remember when I said at work, you're not going to want to listen to anyone. You're not going to, you know, you're going to be condescending. They're going to irritate you. They're going to frustrate you. And you may take things into your own hands. Don't resist doing that. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, Gemini, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media, comment. I live for comment and feedback. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Oh, and don't forget Monday, do an intention for the new moon. All the planets are moving direct and this new moon and new beginnings. You can really carve out a way. It's like magical energy. So do that. I love you all and I'll see you next week.